Now we're going to install the storage drives. So, there's a caddy for the hard drive here. Usually all the hard drive is going to be on the, in this portion right in front of the power supply under the motherboard. Uh, in most cases you'll see some kind of attachment system for hard drives. So, let me see, slide it in, snap it in place, and it's not going to fall out, but I'm always using screws to secure it, because if you ever have to move your computer or ship it somewhere, it's going to fall out, and you don't want that hard drive flying all over your case. A couple of screws, you know, just... Okay, like that. Data cables. There are two of them. I'm gonna leave one on the side and use only one. Now let's see. There are two connectors. That's gonna be your power and your data cable. So if I'm gonna use now let's see what would be the best way to do that maybe like this now like this you see it's it's not symmetrical so you have to make sure you insert it the right way and don't break it, they are really fragile. This, again, it's gonna be inserted like this, with this latch on top. Like this. To remove it, you press it and slide out. Now, the other side of that cable gonna go into the motherboard. So, I'm gonna hide it under the hard drive, like that, on this side, let's see, here, goes in here, one of those SATA ports, okay, so most of the cable is hidden, now I only have to figure out, now let's see, I'm not going to do anything else on this side. So now all I have to do is just make sure these cables are sitting flat like that. I'm not going to secure them here or anything. They just have to sit flat. There is no side window, so nobody going to see them. This side is done. Place this. And slide on. That's it. Two screws in the back. One, two. Okay. Now everything else that we're gonna do is gonna be on this side. We've got M.2 NVMe PCI Express based SSD. So we'll take it out of the box. goes right here that's your m.2 connector and uh, that standoff already pre-installed here that's the correct length for this SSD now all we need is just a little screw that came in that little baggie here so I'm gonna take that screw out it's really tiny so you need some kind of little screwdriver and preferably magnetic too. <laughs> now I'm gonna install the SSD just slide it in like this hold it with your finger and insert the screw do not over tighten it that's it that's the installation of M.2 drives really easy no wires no power no data SATA cables uh, really simple so it's my preferable way to install SSDs. Now what else? We've got one fan here, since it's really not complicated system, we're not gonna use 
extra fans, one is enough. It's, it's never gonna get too hot. Memory. We got a set of two sticks and only two RAM slots here since the budget motherboard. Uh, you match this cutout in the plastic notch here. Shorter side is gonna be on the right if you will place computer case like this. So you insert it, you open that side tab here. This side is fixed, so you just slide it in, push it with your thumb fingers and help with your index finger on this side until it clicks in place. Take a second. Push it in, it clicks, you're done. Memory is installed. Let's see what else we've got. CPU, memory, storage, motherboard in place, power supply connected. Uh, we've got video card. Video card, that processor does not have an integrated video here. So, there are a bunch of ports here. HDMI, DVI, VGA, none of them are gonna work because that processor does not have an integrated GPU so that motherboard ports cannot provide any video output. And please remember it, uh, it's important because some people uh, for computers like this with dedicated video cards that we're gonna install here now, they try to use these ports and they don't work and they complain that oh, the computer doesn't output any video. And the reason is because they're using wrong ports. Uh, that's why I'm gonna do something like this, let's see. Boom. Put it here, you know, try to close them or sometimes I would use duct tape so people would not try to plug anything into them. Because we're gonna have a video card in here now. It's really basic, it's not gaming video card, GT 1030, so it's, this is not a gaming computer. Uh, if you will install some kind of advanced video card, anything starting from GTX 1650 and up, it's gonna run games. This will not run most of the games. So what we do is remove this, remove this, try not to touch those golden contacts here. Now we have to unscrew this, lift that metal part up. Now those is screw for one of the back panels, remove that screw, remove this metal piece. Now we're gonna insert the video card. Okay, just like that. Align it, align it with the slot, PCI Express 16X slot here. Press on top carefully. It snaps in place and uh, there is like a ledge here on the back uh, which um, gonna snap up and lock the video card in place. Now you can lower this, install that screw, make sure it's all straight and tight here. And that's pretty much it. I will install the front panel the side panel, but the computer itself is ready. The video card is in there. We're gonna be using this HDMI and DVI ports for video output, memory, CPU, everything is installed. That's pretty much whole process. You don't need anything else. Thank you for watching and have a good day.